So Art uh, interviewed Tyron Turner, who was in Menace to Society, and he spoke of a situation where he uh, got Jay Prince or Jay Prince came to him or whatever to help fix the situation between himself and Suge over a female. Do, do you remember if that ever happened? And if so, what it was about? Well, see, the timelines don't match up to the female that I know. Timelines don't match up because he made it seem like this was like two thousand or less than it lingered on. But this definitely had to have been after when Suge and Tupac, not Suge, Suge and, and Jay Prince were in talks of doing the, y'all remember the, the Two Face album that they were talking about doing? Suge and, um, and when they were talking about doing the distribution deal and all of that? That's like 2004, 2005. And so that's when she would start back dealing with Prince and Prince probably would have came up to the office, especially the office that he described. Number one, let me tell you I'm a tyrant. Because <laughs> I know he's going to call me because he got my number because I had to get in the middle of some stuff between him and uh, Yuck Mouth they put out. And I got on their show and kind of got Yuck Mouth and Tyrant to talk again because they, they knew each other from rap a lot days. And so... Tyrant hates to be called out. <laughs> and then he, just like he come across on that where he fights everybody and want to fight, that's Tyrant. And so I guess he, he always said Tupac trying to be Bishop. <laughs> that nigga really trying to be Kane, I think. <laughs> but uh, Tyrant seemed to be a cool dude. John, I, I will mess with you because that interview... We could have had before, but you didn't want to do it. <laughs> when, uh, when I was talking about doing it about six or seven months ago, uh, when that issue went down with Yuck Mouth, and you were like, ah, oh, nah, we, we don't know nothing about it. But hey, man, Art, you know, Art be pulling out some questions out of niggas. Only he know how to get those views. He did a good job. Shout out Art. But anyway, uh, I'm talking around it because I know who the female is and I know. It's going to get her in the comment section to be mad. But the time that I know uh, happened during like that Suge and Tyron had a problem behind the female. 95, 96, 90, 94, 95, something like that. Because Tyron was fucking Michelet, y'all. <laughs> Tyron had Michelet. Uh, and us not knowing that she obviously had something going on with Michelet uh, secretly. And uh, so Dr. Tyron, Tyron, no, Tyron. But I like the word he used recently where he said, I never had a, a fair one, a, a fight that I initiated, which that makes sense. Cause Tyron know he got his ass whooped <laughs> behind the chalet. Uh, the people that did it, I'm sure they thought it was for Dre. But now that I'm knowing the history and everything, I know it was really for shit night. But uh, that's who he was alluding to. Um, I think he kind of played with the dates on that because he didn't want to get into it and put it out there. So got to respect that. Uh, but I like Tyron. I like the interview that he's doing. Um, and, uh, yeah, but the incident with the J Prince and coming up to the office and all of that, I don't know about. I definitely know about, and Tyron know I know about the incident behind Mr. Lay. Cause he and I talked about it about six months ago. And so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I know. <laughs> That's what I know about Tyron Turner. Yeah. And other than that, yeah, I yeah, need a, uh, I heard he's living with Jamie Foxx now. He's uh, living with Jamie Foxx, you know, before, before his, uh, and shout out the prayer to Jamie Foxx. Hope he's doing better. Don't know what to believe on that situation with Jamie. I hope it's, not the daughter covering for her dad, but I got a feeling that Jamie is worse than uh, what they report you, but the daughter said, we don't know what we're talking about out here on YouTube. So I really, really hope that's what the truth is. 
But yeah. Uh, that's all I know about Tyron Turner, other than what he's been putting out over there. And that he still, even though he wasn't the star of that show, in my opinion, Old Dog stole the show. It's still one of my favorite shows to watch. Uh, Minister Society. 